Family members of those in prison claim they'll be serving their own sentences this winter as the cost of living continues to bite. That's according to charity Families Outside, who say more families are facing extreme poverty due to the costs involved with a parent being imprisoned. Kirsten Tate has more. The father of Karen's child is currently serving a prison sentence. But at a time when costs are already high, she has to pay out an extra £100 a month to make sure her child stays in contact with her father. I guess it's ensuring that the power doesn't run out when my child is meant to be having their communication with their other parent or even just making sure that my kid wakes up with a smile on Christmas Day or has a full belly from day to day. I always try to make sure there's plenty of food in the house but it just isn't always feasible. Being a single parent is hard enough, never mind the fact you have an absent parent due to imprisonment. Figures from the charity Families Outside, which support those with a family member in prison, show that the average spend per month to support someone on remand is £300. That's because prisoners can't make a prison wage at that point, but still need to buy clothing and toiletries. After their sentence, that changes and the average spend drops down to £180 a month. And after release, the average cost jumps back up to £300 per month to support the family member until they find employment. The charity say more families than ever who are supporting someone in prison are experiencing extreme food and fuel poverty. We heard from a mother in the winter who had skipped three hot meals so that she can afford to pay for our child's food and also if she's got the additional cost of supporting someone in prison. So when we're looking at small costs, it will make a difference. These, these amounts will add up and can make a significant difference in terms of being able to feed yourself and feed your family. Costs can range from simply ensuring a Wi-Fi bill is paid so that video calls can go ahead to paying for fuel to make in-person visits. In my opinion, children need both parents, and unless that parent has done something of a detriment to that child, the child deserves to have a relationship with that parent if that's what they so choose to do and if that's what they seek. Seeing how the loss of that parent initially has such a negative impact on my child and how they're coping in the day-to-day -day life and how that was drastically minimised when that contact opened back up again, in my opinion, is super important for the well-being of the child, that they maintain that relationship with the other parent. Kirsten Tate, STV News.